Go therefore and make disciples. This is the heart of Christ's command in Matthew 28. In the East Central Africa Division, this great commission is our mission priority. In the East Central Africa Division, our strategic plan is grounded in the Total Member Involvement Program. And we are filled with joy because of what the Spirit has been doing among us as a result. We join with the Spirit in rejoicing that we have now reached over 4 million members in our division. Even as we rejoice, we can never be satisfied knowing that there are nearly 500 million others in our region that must still be reached with the good news of Christ's soon return. Neither can we be satisfied with simply conducting baptisms. We are called to make disciples. And again, this is where we have been blessed by the vision of total member involvement. It could be that many think of TMI strictly as a tool for evangelism. It is not. In ECD, we see it as a critical tool for discipleship as well. We know that when our membership works together to reach their communities for Christ, the Spirit of God also blesses and develops maturity in the church. In this way, ECD is not only making disciples, we are making disciple makers. Our members are being developed in discipleship through many TMI evangelistic efforts. From young to old, the membership in ECD is committed to engaging their spiritual gifts through TMI. Committed disciples throughout the division executed powerful pre-campaign events and launched up to 2,000 TMI sites for each campaign using traditional methods as well as radio and satellite television. Groups such as ADRA, Women's Ministries, Dorcas Society, the Pathfinders, and ASI were critically involved in the preparation and execution of these events. Amen. As a result of their faithful discipleship, the members have been blessed to see that the confidence of our communities in the Seventh-day Adventist Church is increasing. In Burundi, the nation's president, His Excellency Pierre Kurunziza, was so impressed with their involvement that he provided them a special grant, as well as a permanent invitation to be present at all of the country's national celebrations. Our members have also enthusiastically supported mega clinics, where at each event, up to 9,000 have been given free health care. National and municipal leaders are thanking our church for making a difference in the education and well being of their citizens as a result of the health and nutrition programs. One government official in Tanzania even credited TMI with a reduction in crime throughout the region as a result of the TMI campaign. And God has richly rewarded the faithful discipleship of our members by adding many souls to the kingdom of God and to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The Holy Spirit reached an especially large proportion of our population by combining the efforts of our church members with powerful outreach programs through radio and television broadcasts. One campaign, led by General Conference Vice President Jeffrey Mbwana, cultivated over 19,000 baptisms. Many years ago, I was Daniel's age. Another campaign led by Pastor Mark Finley was used by God to claim 22,000 souls for the kingdom. One union has seen their membership increase by a full 30% as 43,000 baptisms were conducted in the nation of Burundi. 
Our unions in the Democratic Republic of Congo were also rewarded with over 35,000 new baptisms during the summer of 2018. At the conclusion of these wonderful campaigns, a mission extravaganza celebration was held to thank God and those faithful members who gave of time, talent, and treasure for the sake of the kingdom of God. ECD worked to invest in the youth with a division-wide campery focused on discipling our youth to use their lives as living Bibles that others might be blessed. As part of that discipleship effort, for the first time, ECD Campery Pathfinders conducted many outreach projects so that the Spirit could use the experience to change their lives and those that were contacted in the community. We're striving to be very intentional about engaging every member in discipleship. Not only have we emphasized our Pathfinder groups, but we have placed an emphasis on making sure we are reaching out to women and that those with special needs are never neglected. Our Women Engage program touches the lives of women within and outside the church by helping them to develop businesses and creating opportunities for them to share their stories and confront the issues of their lives with biblical truth. Our special needs ministry is growing in ECD and many are finding new hope through events such as our special needs camp meeting where more than 700 attendees were richly blessed. For ECD, our focus on discipleship of every member as the cornerstone of total member involvement has meant that the development of a strong ASI is also a mission priority. In volume nine of the testimonies, page 116, Sister White counseled that the work of God in this earth can never be finished until the men and women comprising our church membership rally to the work and unite their efforts with those of ministers and church officers. Following that admonition, ECD invited over 200 lay leaders from across East Africa, together with division and union executives for an ASI convention, where they unanimously agreed to support a policy framework in accordance with the General Conference ASI Coordinating Committee guidelines for the structure of ASI. As we engage our professionals, young adults, and organizational leaders in the marketplace, we are committed to developing them as disciples of Christ and inviting them to use their gifts in harmony with the division's mission priorities. In February of this year, ECD was blessed with a major visit to Uganda by General Conference President Elder Ted Wilson. The membership of the church enthusiastically welcomed him to the country, along with the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. An unexpected but very welcome blessing was received when Elder Wilson announced that during a private meeting, the President of Uganda agreed that the nation would respect the religious convictions of all students of any faith by allowing them to take exams outside of sacred hours. Indeed, ECD has worked to protect the religious liberty of all Africans by hosting the All Africa Religious Liberty Congress in Kigali, Rwanda this year. Approximately 500 religious leaders, scholars, government leaders, and laity from a variety of faith traditions attended the event. Leaders from across the continent were enlightened on the challenges and opportunities represented by the call to freedom of conscience. On Sabbath in the Kigali Stadium, delegates and some 30,000 attendees from the city enjoyed an impressive display by the Pathfinders from Rwanda and Congo. Among those speaking at this celebration were David Maraga, an Adventist who serves as the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, Johnson Businge, Attorney General of the Republic of Rwanda, and Ganun Diop of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. ECD is strongly focused on executing its mission to influence the region for Christ. 
and the initiative for the Adventist Medical School of East Central Africa is a crowning example of where God is leading the division. This year, phase one of the vision to provide strategic leadership to address the need for indigenous medical professionals for the continent is scheduled to be completed. This includes 500 student apartments, a visiting guest living complex, and a 1,000 seat cafeteria. Rwanda, the nation in whose capital the new medical school is being built, is getting attention for its strong growth in healthcare. The Adventist Medical School of East Central Africa is a cornerstone element of that reputation. The need for a school of medicine in this division is probably one of the priorities that the division could ever have decided upon taking as a challenge. By being a healthier person, you can have a better communication with God. Now by training these people to train others, that's something that only the Lord will be able to accomplish as a whole, but through the School of Medicine. The first cohort of students is expected to matriculate in fall of 2019. ECD is moving forward, making disciples of all nations. That is our mission. It's our mission priority. Because now, more than ever, it's harvest time.